Hello everyone, and welcome back to the sounds of you, the saxophonist Jamal Riley. So, in this video I'm going to be covering what comes with my first saxophone, okay? Now obviously right here in front of me, I have some old friends of mine, um, a beginner alto saxophone and a beginner tenor saxophone. Now, um, they both gonna come with the same thing, but my purpose in showing this part is to show you the difference in the size of the case. Um, because honestly, this is, a, this is a question kind of that I get a lot from parents who have children who already play other instruments like piano, drums, or guitar. And, they, and one of the th first things they ask me is, you know, do saxophones come with a case? And the answer is yes. Um, some, some would assume that, that that should be a given, but not so, like I said, if you're used to playing piano or guitar, because those instruments do not come with cases. Those cases usually have to be purchased separately. So when it, in the case of band instruments, and of course, our particular interest is saxophone, yes, saxophones do come with cases, okay? Okay, and then also, for your children who uh, are, are, are might be a little bummed for not being able to play the tenor, um, just be thankful you don't have to play the tenor just yet because as you see, this case is much larger than the alto. And because it's larger, and the instrument is larger, it's much heavier than the alto. So. You gotta be thankful you didn't have to look, look this guy around school, okay? All right, so let's open the case and take a look inside. All right, so now let's get into the case. So what generally comes with the case is, of course, the saxophone's body. So um, as you can see, just like the day I got it, <laughs> it's fully assembled, right? Um, unlike, remember I told you about the lady in my previous video with the soprano saxophone, when it came disassembled. So it's supposed to come fully assembled. At the most alteration you'll see is it may come with some corks or something like that in it. And what that does, it holds the keys down so that when you're buying a new instrument, so that uh, so that you know less moving parts in transit, the less risk you have of um, you know messing anything up. Okay, so just damaging anything. Okay, so this is the body of the saxophone. Okay, and of course this is the bell. Um, you know the and the you know. The back side is a little broad. There's not really anything going, too much going on over here. But most of your action is over here, okay? So this is the body of the saxophone. The next thing that you're going to get is, of course, the neck. So the neck looks something like this. So um, I'll talk more about that later and why it looks the way it does <laughs> a little bit later, okay? And the last thing um, that it usually comes with, just this is just bare basics, okay, is... The mouthpiece. Now, technically, if you walked into a music store and said, hey, I want to buy a saxophone mouthpiece, you wouldn't get this whole assemblage. What you get is this. Technically, this is the saxophone mouthpiece, okay? Now, this other black part is the mouthpiece cap, and this little gold part is called a ligature. What the ligature does is it holds the other key part, the reed, in place. It holds the reed in place. So basically, um, I'll go over um, up close assembly in another video, but just just so you can get a visual of what I'm talking about. Um, the, basically, the ligature, the gold part, holds the reed on there so it doesn't fall off. Okay, and the mouthpiece cap basically so that you don't chip your reed or damage it. So we're gonna put this guy on there like that, and that's of course when you're not playing. Okay. So if you have it on a music, if you have it on a uh, saxophone stand or uh, just somewhere safe, <laughs> somewhere safe that is not in your hands, be careful. Um, usually we'll put this guy on it so that so don't you know don't damage your read. Because even in bad situations where you're holding a saxophone across your lap and somebody walk past you and their shoulder or their waist or whatever will brush up against the read and it damages your read and that's not a good time. So this is the bare basics. Oh, forget one more thing. Using saxophones come with a neck strap as well. Now, of the five instruments that you start out on band, you know, flute, clarinet, saxophone, trumpet, trombone, the saxophone is actually the heaviest of them. It's not the biggest, but it's the heaviest among them. And the reason it's, it's so heavy is because how it's made, as well as the weight distribution. So on the back, you have this little hole right here. On this back, you have this hole right here. So, you know, this particular one, I have a, what's called a spring hook. A spring action one, so I have a little thing right there, and I pull that back, and boom, it's real easy. So I sit it in there, and so this, you know, 
you'll, you'll see saxophone players hold, holding this, okay? So um, I'm just gonna put that back. So that's the bare basics of what comes with your saxophone for now. Now, um, and also, it is, it's, when I, I mentioned the read earlier, it usually only comes with one read. Saxophones only come with one read, okay? Most times. All right, so let's talk about what else comes with a saxophone. Usually, you get something like a saxophone care kit. So saxophone care kit, usually, um, Saxophone care kit will have a you know plethora of things that you need for you know just your daily maintenance. So this is what we get out of here. We're gonna uh, we, you're gonna get something. You're gonna get this polishing. Gonna get a polishing cloth. So the beauty the beauty of this is um, a polishing cloth. You know you can just wipe wipe your um, fingerprints off when you're done. You know just because. Uh, we'll just wipe it down because uh, your, your finger does leave uh, you know little oils and stuff on the instrument and so you can help you know take care by wiping it down I mean when I first got my saxophone I wipe it down every day <laughs> might, not, might not necessarily need it every day but uh, it's still a good practice you know just take pride in pride in your uh, in your, your new uh, investment your new toy <laughs> so um, the next thing after that is you gonna get it usually comes with a mouthpiece brush. And so the mouthpiece brush basically you just run it in the mouthpiece when you get done playing. Um, you wanna get, you know, of course, swab any spit or whatever, anything else you have in there or whatever. You gonna of course take the reed off first. Take the reed off and then you just run it through there. Maybe I'll do another video um, showing how to do all this stuff, okay? Um, how to care for your instrument, okay? Um, after that, it usually comes with um, I guess you say this would be a this is a swab that you that you have a line. Usually, the the the, line, the end of the line has a uh, like a weight on it or something, and so basically you stick that down in there, stick that down through the bell and pull it through the neck. And uh, I'll show you how to do that again. So you, again, that's for getting spit and stuff, uh, moisture. You want to minimize your moisture inside the instrument. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, another thing you got you get in here is you get something called a um, uh, reed guard. So your reeds normally come in like a box of five to ten, depending on what instrument. Alto saxophone, you only get ten. You normally most brands use is ten reeds. Some of them have twelve. And so what this, what it does is it comes in a box, and which I don't, basically I don't have one on me right now. Um, it usually comes in a box, box of ten, um, and it, it usually comes in like a little, a little small plastic guard wrapped in plastic. But once you open it, you know, just like, you know, you take the plastic off. The, the single plastic guard is usually clear, um, but it only holds one. This guy holds two. So basically, I just slide it in the face right there. And now I got room for, now I got room for two guards, okay? So that's how that works. So, um, but yeah, so, and, and, and when you get down playing your saxophone, you always want to take your read off. Don't leave your read on the mouthpiece because I've done it I know plenty of guys have done it but I've done it before and what happens is when you leave your read on, on, on your mouthpiece um, it can it, it, it can leave some not so nice stuff can, can start to accumulate in there you know what what lights moisture and darkness mold <laughs> so it's not good it's definitely not good for your health so make sure you take your read off when you get done playing okay next thing you get is this is a uh, a neck snake so basically uh, kind of same principle as for the mouthpiece just for your neck you know for the saxophone neck okay um, you got a bristle side and a claw side all right for the neck okay the next thing that I'll this thing come with a lot of stuff right and it costs a lot more to get this stuff individually than, than in this pack usually this pack uh, Costing up between eighteen to twenty-two dollars. That's how much I've seen most uh, care kits themselves. Um, the care kit itself, now you know. Okay, so um, one of the most important things that you also get with this is cork grease. So with your cork grease, basically you use this to um, to you know put some a, a layer of lubricant basically on on the neck cork, and you put your mouthpiece on it. Now this this cork this neck cork is actually a little old. Um, it's still usable, 
but uh, it's only going to get worse. It's like a crack in the windshield. It's only going to get worse. So um, typically when you buy a new instrument, um, typically when you buy a new instrument, especially a new instrument, this cork will be kind of fat. I mean, not ridiculously fat, but it'll be fat. And once you put a mouthpiece on, when you, you to go to get the mouthpiece on it, you're gonna have you're gonna have to um, cork it up. I mean, I'm not corking it up, but uh, <laughs> put some, grease it up. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> you have to grease it up. So um, you have to grease it up in order to get the mouthpiece on there. If not, you can some of some of you can force the mouthpiece on there regardless. I don't recommend it because you don't tear that cork up. Now, re, uh, and getting the cork replaced is not a very expensive thing. But still, you know, if you can, if you can, if you can avoid, avoid it, why do it? You know what I mean? If you can avoid, it, I mean, it's it's a fault. You know, it's not something that you have to do. At least not all the time. Okay, so just part of taking care of your instrument. All right. So um, the last thing that you get in this is actually gonna be uh, this little thing right here. This little thing right here. And basically, what this is, is a mouthpiece saver. And so what a mouthpiece saver does, now this, I know it looks white, but basically it's clear. It's like a, it, it's sticky. It's like pulling off a sticker. It's clear and it's just on this white uh, film. And basically what you do is you stick it. I already have one on this mouthpiece. You may or may not be able to see it. You stick it right here on the, on the, um, on the mouthpiece. And so what it does is when you play the, when you play the saxophone, your top teeth go on top of this mouthpiece. And what, it, what basically it's a thin layer of plastic and rubber or whatever that protects the mouthpiece because over time your teeth that you're, 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 you're constantly putting this pressure on this mouthpiece your teeth are going to grind into naturally grind or erode into your mouthpiece over time and eventually it's going to crack it and it's going to break now on these inexpensive my uh mouthpieces like this uh it wouldn't, it wouldn't be anything to lose any sleep over i mean my saxophone mouthpieces generally start like I said, just the mouthpiece is used like $19. Um, but, you know, for the whole assembly, if you will, the mouthpiece is $19. Ligatures normally start around $6. Uh, which you have to be careful with these because these are not very durable. They're cool, but they're not very durable. Once you bend it, it's pretty much shot. Now, there are better ligatures out there, um, but I'll talk about them in another video, okay? Um, so, like I said, so I got my mouthpiece covered. So, I think that's it as far as, oh, let me, let me expound a little bit on this neck strap. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the saxophone does come with a neck strap, but they usually don't come with a neck strap quite this nice. This neck strap is by Neotech. And so, um, the, the cool thing about this is it is a padded neck strap. It's, you know, it's foam, or, well not foam, but it's padded is my point. Yeah, mo I don't have any of the generic neck straps that normally come with saxophones. Most saxophones come with a generic neck strap made of this material. Now the problem with that is um, it is highly uncomfortable. I mean, you may see some you may see some stores sell generic neck straps anywhere between two and ten dollars. Although it may be appeasing to your pockets, it is not going to feel good on your neck or your child's neck, whoever's going to be playing the saxophone. It's not gonna feel good at all. It is very, 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 very uncomfortable. Um, you know, and I've seen, and I've done it myself, but I've seen children who, who when they have neck straps like this, they especially have polo on, they'll stick it under their collar. And I know a lot of parents don't want them doing that to their clothes. So, um, like I said, I, I get a Neotech neck strap. Now, if you're a tenor player watching this, a regular Neotech neck strap will not will not work on a tenor. Now, technically, will this go in the hole? Yes. Will this go around your neck? Yes. But it is too short for the for the tenor saxophone to extend from you and come back up to your face. It'll it'll be back up at your forehead. At your forehead. So usually, what you want to get if you're gonna go with Neotech, uh, you're gonna get something called an XL neck strap. And so it's just a little bit longer. Um, just a little bit longer, and, I, and honestly, I don't think it actually even cost any more. At the most, it may cost two, three dollars more, but it's still well worth it. Okay, so that covers all of everything that actually comes with your saxophone. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, but if not, this is Saxophone Jamal Riley with the sounds of you, and I'll see you in the next video. All right.